newest member of our NBA on TNT. Yes, sir. The number five pick in the 2003 draft, 13 time All Star. Hey, man, we got Ty at the end. Hey, we got Ty at the end. We got Ty at the end. What's up, boy? I don't got the time to put you on a stretcher. Oh, what up? Oh, what? oh, I thought that was your bag or something. Hey. Oh. Welcome to the team, baby. Thank you, thank you. What you thought it was a pouch? Yeah. Hey, man, where your tie at, man? Hey, listen. No, he, oh, hey, he can do what he wants to. He it's part of the I'm contract. A millennial. It's great to see you, man. Thank you. Wait, wait. So you officially retired then? Hey, I'm, I'm officially you retired. You officially, when you sit, wait, stand up for a second. When you sit in this seat, D, you are officially retired. retired. Can't go so back. think about it right now. Before you sit in this seat, All right. this is it. What's Once up? you sit here, you can't go back. Yeah, you can't yeah, go good. back. Yeah, oh, there he is. Yeah, hey, yes, sir. Hurt. Yes, sir. <laughs> he is officially hey, you retired. Got, you got three or four. Yeah. I got three. Uh, uh, so two, Pardon, two, eight, 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 two, four, eight, four, eight, two, four, eight, eight, I heard. We got eight, nine rings up here. We like Phil Jackson up here, but we got nine rings. I heard. I was working out in the gym this summer. And I heard if it wasn't for you and Kobe, oh, I'm just saying, I was, I was like, I was listening to some rap music. Do I forget right. who was singing it. He said, do if right. it wasn't for Kobe and Flash, do somebody right. wouldn't have none. Oh, see right there. I says, see it, brother. Thank you, brother. Man, that looked good. Job. Can I get one of those? No, no. <laughs> tell no. This one. Trust me. Don't get a. Hey, don't get that thing appraised. Tell me what. Tell me what goes through your mind now when you've had these times since the end of last season to yeah. reflect and think about. 16 years in the in the league and 13 years in All Star and the yeah. championships and the relationships you've built. I mean, it's unbelievable, and you guys know when you get an opportunity to play in the NBA um, and you get to live a, a lifelong dream out and to actually be pretty good in the NBA and leave a mark um, is special. So last season to get a chance to go through that that year and I didn't do it just for myself. You know, I did it for guys like like big fella over here. Um, I did it for Allen Iverson, the guys that get an opportunity to go and say thank you to the fans uh, for all their support. Let right. me ask you this. What do you what does the average fan at home not understand um, because they haven't been there about the brotherhood that exists among players in the NBA? past and present. Yeah, I mean, it's exactly what it is. When you're, in a, when you're in a locker room with a guy, we spend more time together than you spend with your family, when you spend with your wives and your kids. So, you know, you get to know each other in an intimate level, and you really start to care about guys. And the, and the relationships go on way beyond the game of basketball. Um, so I have so many of those relationships. But uh, right now, this is my new family. This is my there new brother. So there you go. I'm moving on. And and let me, on. Next let time. me explain before bring the next gifts. question. Let me explain, too. The focus of your work uh, on TNT will be those Tuesday night NBA on TNT Tuesday night. Yeah. You'll be working with. You're going to be working on yes, those with. We, uh, with we, Flash. we got okay. some chemistry. So you got yeah, some chemistry. Got chemistry. And Candace Parker. Yeah. Speaking of be, chemistry, Ernie. Yeah. All Star Weekend. Me and D Wade. We challenge y'all to. To, to what? To, to, to a game. What you mean to what? <laughs> How about three points? To a game. How about three no, points? No, no, a game. Two on two. He, he, he two on two. Two on two. He got two bad hits. Two on two. No, no, we, he, no that's two not fair. Two. You talking that's all that That's not fair. No, no, no. That's not Me fair. Me and Dwayne Wade challenge y'all to. You going to take a guy who just got out the league. Hey, oh, hey. <laughs> Shaq, old guys versus I'll old take, guys. I'll take them and get y'all two too. Shaq, you can't have the meat. Oh, you can't move, big fella. Oh, I, don't hey. oh. I don't need to move. On. How about one on one in D Wade ref? Hey, all right, deal. deal. I'll pass hey. it in the post because they ain't moving too much. Do you accept my challenge? Hey, listen. No, uh, I don't, uh, also, I don't we, accept. No, we're gonna you scared? Hey, I don't want on, him. Man. We don't want you. Well, you don't want I'll me. I'll take C Webb. See, okay. well, all right, better. And, Reg oh. Miller. Better. and Reggie Miller. Better. Okay. Better. And Reggie. You can't guard me. No, no, I'm going to let Reggie. Okay, so hold on. Okay, so, okay. So, so I'm going to let Reggie. I just want right, to so throw on. that out there. Me, cool. D Wade, and D Scott versus you, C Webb, and Reggie. No, he can't, you can't take more than three dribbles. Oh, stop it. He's an NBA player. Just finish playing. Bro, we all NBA players. No, he not. Five yeah. months well, ago. Well, Jack, you wasn't NBA player your last three years. Not at all. <laughs> but the years <laughs> before that, I was going to get four. You were retired. You was way retired. This is the best comedy show on TV, by the way. I just want y'all to know that. I have a question. For Most you. of it unintentional, by the way. <laughs> Wait, this so y'all scared on national team? Oh, I'm scared. I want to you had your bad wheel tour, didn't you? I like that. You had a bad wheel tour. It's called a selfie. Well, you got traded like four times <laughs> the last four years. That's a bad wheel tour. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, Kenny, I think you had a question. I do for have me. a question. I almost and forgot. You said farewell to your chance to win the ring oh. Oh. against Mike. Oh. How about that? Oh. Yeah. Uh, bye bye. I had a chance against Kenny too. Go ahead, man. Had a chance against Kenny. Are you gonna play us or not? Let it go. Hey, let it go. 
Lillard. David Lillard. Chill out, David. Hey, hey, chill out, David. Hey, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm scared. Hey, tell you, chill out. You're scared. Oh, I'm, so, I'm scared. scared. You want him to carry you to another championship? Yeah, no <laughs> matter. No matter. <laughs> He that was a good Kenny, 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 I know there's a, good. there's a question hiding in there That was a good joke. That was a good joke. Would you say Kenny? Come on, Zach. Huh? Let it go, oh, sir. No. No, 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 no. Hey, Akeem Olajuwon, where are you? Oh, my bad. I'm going to call Akeem up in here. I'm going to call Akeem up in here. Hold on, Zach. I'll grab Akeem. Hold on, big fella. Hold on, big fella. Hold on. We shut it down. All right, now. You better watch it. Shut it down. Y'all scared. I'll call Akeem. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to actually allow D. Wade to say something in the next segment. And we're also going to look back at the history of free agency, which is a uh, compelling piece that you won't want to miss. Are you sure you're not going to join the Lakers and you're just using us as bait? I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> just check it. Listen, them, guys, them kids running fast out there on the NBA court. I, I, Come on, man. Well, man. That's awesome. Kidding. So, Dwayne Wade back with us. And Dwayne, we've talked about the East and the West and how it shakes out in the player movement and the one-two punches that you see all over the league. Who made the biggest splash and who's it really going to pay off for the most this season? Well, obviously, I, I love what Kawhi Leonard did for the NBA. Uh, this was the summer of him. You know, he decided he controlled the whole free agency. Um, and I'm a big fan of players getting the opportunity to decide their fate. And um, he decided the fate of the entire NBA. He shifted now kind of, you know, the NBA back to where two stars are on the team and that third guy got to step up. In, 2000, in 2006, when we, when we was going to win the championship, Shaq always told us, listen, me and Flash would do our job, but we need that third guy to step up. And that, now that's what the league is back to. So I look forward to it. Yeah, it was a, an unprecedented offseason in terms of player movement. 72% of the players who were eligible for free agency switched teams <laughs> over the summer. And, wow. uh, and the wow. result has, throw wow. has thrown this season totally wide open. And if you're new to the game, if you're just following the NBA over the last 10 or 15 years, and that's relatively recently, and you have no idea how it used to be, here's free agency from the beginning to right. That was a piece just expertly produced by Chris Bloxham and Lee Shelton encompassing uh, free agency from the very beginning. And while I was watching that, I was also watching you watch that and seeing you shake your head at a couple of times and then nod in agreement at others. What really, what was your major takeaway from that, D? Well, my mind went back to 2010 and when, when myself, LeBron, and Chris decided to play together. The words that came out of my our mouth in our meeting was player empowerment. And just to see player empowerment um, take take on like it is right now in 2019, that's what was going on in 2010 in that room when we decided to play together. I did remember three, two years before it happened, you were like, hey man, what would you think about LeBron and I playing together? We were in a restaurant, you said that. I thought you were joking. But as you look back on it, what part of your competitive nature said, I, I don't want to win with this guy? And what part of your competitive nature said, what, I want to win with a guy like this and bring someone in to this fold? Like, was there a struggle with relinquishing your competitive nature of beating LeBron? It was a struggle. Um, it, as the season went on, as our careers together went on, the, the struggle never left. It wasn't just as easy as everyone thought it would be, but I had already won a championship. And after winning that championship in 06 with Big Fella, I took a lot of beatings after that. Our teams was not where I, my expectations was or where my talents was. And as you heard Kevin Durant say, we have a short window. We have a short period of time. So when that opportunity presented itself with LeBron James, I said, I can't pass this up. It's all, everyone makes it about winning championships. So if this was it about, then let me get these opportunities to win championships. And how do you feel when, when some of the old players say, well, you guys don't want to compete with each other, just want to put all the guys on, on, on the same team? How does that make you feel as a player? That's okay. You know, it, this is just the generation. You know, understanding different generations, different things and different feelings occur. So in this generation, you know, going over people's houses, going out to dinner with each other, hanging out, that's just what it is. So we just, we had to be who we was going to be in our generation and not really necessarily worry about what the generation before us said. We'll have a chance to talk more about this uh, as we go on, but the ring ceremony is coming up in Toronto. We'll take you there after this.